learning to be a better student cognition what is cognition cognition is a term referring to the mental processes involved in gaining knowledge and comprehension these cognitive processes include thinking knowing remembering judging and problem solving these are higher level functions of the brain and encompass language imagination perception and planning cognitive psychology is the field of psychology that investigates how people think and the processes involved in cognition there are many different types of cognitive processes these include attention language learning memory perception and thought Attention is a cognitive process that allows people to focus on a specific stimulus in the environment. Language and language development are cognitive processes that involve the ability to understand and express thoughts through spoken and written words. Language allows us to communicate with others and plays an important role in thought. Learning requires cognitive processes involved in taking in new things, synthesizing information, and integrating it with prior knowledge. Memory is an important cognitive process that allows people to encode, store, and retrieve information. Memory is a critical component in the learning process and allows people to retain knowledge about the world and their personal histories. Perception is a cognitive process that allows people to take in information through their senses or sensation and then utilize this information to respond and interact with the world. Thought is an essential part of every cognitive process. It allows people to engage in decision-making, problem-solving, and higher reasoning. Cognitive processes affect every aspect of life from school to work to relationships. Some specific uses for these cognitive processes include the following. Learning new things, forming memories, and making decisions. Learning requires being able to take in new information for new memories and make connections with other things that you already know researchers and educators use their knowledge of this cognitive process to help create instructive materials to help people learn new concepts Memory is a major topic of interest in the field of cognitive psychology. How we remember, what we remember, and what we forget reveal a great deal about how the cognitive processes operate. While people often think of memory as being much like a video camera, carefully recording and cataloging life events and storming them away for later recall. 
research has found that memory is much more complex. Whenever people make any type of decision, it involves making judgments about things they have processed. It might involve comparing new information to prior knowledge, integrating new information into existing ideas, or even replacing old knowledge with new knowledge before making a choice. The cognitive processes have a wide-ranging impact that influences everything from daily life to overall health. Perceiving the world, forming impressions, filling in the gaps, interacting with the world. As you take in sensations from the world around you, the information that you see, hear, taste, touch, and smell must first be transformed into signals that your brain can understand. The perceptual process allows you to take in sensory information and convert it into a signal that your brain can understand and act upon. The world is full of an endless amount of sensory experiences. To make meaning out of all this incoming information, it is important for your brain to be able to reduce your experience of the world down to the fundamentals. You remember everything, so events are reduced down to the critical concepts and ideas that you need. In addition to reducing information to make it more memorable and understandable, people also elaborate on these memories as they reconstruct them. In some cases, this elaboration happens when people are struggling to remember something. When the information cannot be recalled, the brain sometimes fills in the missing data with whatever seems to fit. Cognition involves not only the things that go on inside our heads, but also how these thoughts and mental processes influence our actions. Our attention to the world around us memories of past events, understanding of language, judgments about how the world works, and abilities to solve problems all contribute to how we behave and interact with our surrounding environment. Cognitive processes are influenced by a range of factors including genetics and experiences. While you cannot change your genetics, there are things that you can do to protect and maximize your cognitive abilities. Stay healthy. Lifestyle factors such as eating healthy and getting regular exercise can have an effect on your cognitive functioning. Think critically. Question your assumptions and ask questions about your thoughts, beliefs, and conclusions. Stay curious and keep learning. One great way to flex your cognitive abilities is to keep challenging yourself to learn more about the world. Keep multitasking. While it might seem like doing several things at once would help you get done faster, research has shown it actually decreases both productivity and work quality.
setting goals for yourself is a necessary process in achieving career success. It is only through meaningful and motivating goal setting that you can have targets to aim in your career and see progression. Setting goals for yourself is about personal development. For self-development to happen, you must realize the benefits and be motivated enough to do it. Long-term sustainable personal development is all self-directed. If you are as described, then you are on the correct path to achieving meaningful goals for career success. Setting goals for yourself is a necessary process in achieving career success. It is only through meaningful and motivating goal setting that you can have targets to aim in your career and see progression. Setting goals for yourself is about personal development. For self-development to happen, you must realize the benefits and be motivated enough to do it. Long-term sustainable personal development is all self-directed. If you are as described, then you are on the correct path to achieving meaningful goals for career success. Do not take feedback personally and be defensive when your parents or family, classmates or friends and colleagues give you feedback. Feedback is good as they provide an avenue to self-reflect and realize the need to change. An important part newbies pursuing career success ignore is that setting goals for yourself is only part of a bigger process. Setting goals is part of the development process. Why is it important to understand this? When you have the bigger picture, then what you learn about smart goals and meaningful motivating objectives begin to make sense. That makes setting goals for yourself even more fun. Recognize the need to change, decision to change, develop a plan, act upon the plan and evaluate, change happens, and achieve goals. For development to begin, you must realize the need to change. This is important because you can set all the goals you want, but if there is no such realization, then your goals wouldn't be meaningful. You would be setting goals for the sake of doing it. This is pretty self-explanatory. You must make a conscious decision to change while recognizing and deciding that both affect the cognitive level, that is, awareness and commitment. Only when there is commitment will setting personal goals be meaningful to you. This is where your actual setting goal for yourself happens, the plan itself. Remember your goals has to be smart when they have to be meaningful and motivating.
It is not good enough to have a plan. There is a tendency for newbies pursuing career success to treat plans like New Year resolutions, to make but not do the plans. Act upon your plans. This is why it is important to make your goals meaningful and motivating. This is also why there must be a realization and commitment. Once these elements come together, there is no stopping you in attaining your goals and achieving success. Remember to evaluate the results. Quite naturally, once you act upon your plan and evaluate it, change will happen. You begin to see the results of setting goals for yourself. Consistent pursuit and implementation of your plan will result in achievement. You reach your goals and, as a consequence, your self-esteem rises. When this happens, you are ready to assume more responsibilities and set more challenging goals for yourself. Constant improved performance will result. Stress is a reaction to a situation where a person feels threatened or anxious. Learning healthy ways to cope and getting the right care and support can help reduce stressful feelings and symptoms. After a traumatic event, People may have strong and lingering reactions. These events may include personal or environmental disasters or threats with an assault. The symptoms may be physical or emotional. Common reactions to a stressful event can include disbelief, shock, and dumbness, feeling sad, frustrated, and helpless, difficulty concentrating and making decisions, headaches, back pains, and stomach problems, smoking or use of alcohol or drugs. Feeling emotional and nervous or having trouble sleeping and eating can all be normal reactions to stress. Here are some healthy ways you can deal with stress. Take care of yourself. Eat healthy, exercise, get plenty of sleep, and give yourself a break if you feel stressed out. Talk to others, share your problems, and how you are feeling and coping with a parent, friend, counselor, doctor, or pastor. Avoid drugs and alcohol. This may seem to help, but they can create additional problems and increase the stress you are already feeling. Take a break. If news events are causing your stress, take a break from listening or watching the news. Recognize when you need more help. If problems continue or you are thinking about suicide, talk to a psychologist, social worker, or professional counselor.